So Vervana is a technology company we're in the AR VR space. The Totem is an extended reality device, so we merge both VR and AR into a single headset. When uh, designing a device like the Totem, it's a wearable device, it has to be lightweight, and there's a lot of video processing that needs to be done in the device itself. We use a lot of onboard sensor, a lot of cameras. We have a high frame rate, high resolution, so that's a lot of data to be processed. So it makes sense to use uh, FPGA devices. We do everything inside the device using the zinc. We do gesture control and we use an uh, infrared camera to track the, the, the surrounding world. We have a best-in-class VR device, so we have 120 degrees field of view and the IS resolution panels available, which are 1440p. On top of that, we have best-in-class AR. Other AR devices have a very narrow field of view. We have 120 degrees uh, field of view, which is a natural stereoscopic view of the human brain. So we maximize the 3D stereoscopic experience. We're trying to improve the user experience with the device. So machine learning is very useful to the very advanced, uh, advanced feature where you need to have some intelligence to understand the world around you. And all these challenges that we want to resolve, I think the Xilinx MPSOC Ultrascale family is a great device to resolve these issues. So we do the sensor fusion, the image processing and all that, but in AR and VR, latency is king. You need to have very low latency. The best way to do that is, uh, we think, with the SOC FPGA combination. We use the Zing device as our core main component because one of the unique features of the Totem is the fact that we do inside out positional tracking. So we track the surrounding world, we do SLAM, and then we find the head position in 3D of the user in real time. We need to do as much processing inside the device as possible to minimize the latency. So that's where SOC with processing capability and programmable logic will help us to solve that problem.